I would like to make it clear, first of all, this is not a religious issue. Those who say it's a religious issue is to deviate the attention of people who may not be religious or have something against the church to go the other way. This is a human issue. It's a human issue because it has to do with human life. And the church then comes in as a supporter of that human issue. I'll give you an example. Everybody has a right to work and the church supports the right to work. Everybody has a right to have a roof over his head. That's a human issue. But the church comes out about social justice. You know, so there are many human issues that religion comes into it because it is a good thing. Religion is there for what's good. That's all. Perhaps do you think voicing your opinion could actually interfere or impact on, on the campaign itself? I don't believe that will happen because I'm sure by now those who want to vote yes will vote yes and those who want to vote no will vote no. I thought I'd better put in, as is my duty, and as my duty I have to do it, to clarify certain things, especially for those who are inclined to respect life. And I'm saying if we do respect life, then we should safeguard it. Now, the, the matter of respecting life, um, we've seen the church uh, um, evolve in the thinking as societies evolved in certain aspects or spheres of life. Yes. Um, but would you, would you agree with abortion, perhaps, in cases where the woman's health is at risk? When the woman's health is at risk, we always believed that you have to try to save both lives. If it becomes impossible, then, since I was studying theology in the early 70s, and there were books about this and before that, the solution was always that if the child has to be lost, it will be lost, but the main intention is not to lose the child, but to save the life. In terms of that, um, in instances where abortion could perhaps uh, prevent suffering, say, uh, fatal fetal abnormalities, for example, where it's a medical given that that uh, child will not survive. Um, how would you feel about that? Wouldn't it prevent no, suffering? Th yeah, it may prevent suffering. The basic principle is hard cases make bad law. We are looking at hard cases and as a consequence there is going to be bad law. These instances which you're mentioning and we can mention a few more if you want we can understand the problem and i don't think there'll be any condemnation if one in a way chooses to terminate something like that which is not going to survive anyway i can understand that but although i wouldn't agree with it because then i'll say well let it then terminate by itself instead of terminating it yourself you know but when it comes to abortion, what really makes me anxious is the fact that once it's accepted, it becomes normal. And it's not for hard cases. It is for those who may have made a mistake, who may have realized that it's not time to have a baby, and so let's get rid of it so that we can continue our life. That is disrespect to life. You did mention early in the interview that this was a, a human issue, not yeah. a religious one, it is a human issue. as an observer of society, um, how, you, how have you observed the campaign, the two sides in Gibraltar over I'm this I'm going reference? to be honest here, and as usually I am. I, from the very beginning, said, in conversation with others, I didn't make it public, no, that I am against a referendum when it comes to a subject like this, because referendums don't give you the right answers. They give you the emotional answer to a question. It's all based on emotions and not on facts. And that's why I think that instead of having three parties in Parliament, four really, because there are four heads, who all seemed to agree as heads, not necessarily the members, about abortion, why send it to the public? Why don't you take the responsibility of passing the law in Parliament, and we would have avoided all this hatred, all this division that there is in society in Gibraltar, which never existed like this before. Why give rise to that? 
just not to take on the responsibility of what you believe is for the common good, because that's what they are saying. They believe it is for the common good. So why not pass it? Why pass it on to us? It didn't happen in gay marriages. We didn't have a referendum. It didn't happen in surrogate motherhood. We didn't have a referendum. Why now? Why abortion? 